Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what Over this there. Um, I just put this box on this morning. This is where our tent is going to go. Our tent fits in that box perfectly. I have to put a door on it. Then there's going to be a door here that I got to weld on. That's going to be this little thing here for like axes and chainsaws and little shovels and that kind of stuff. Then this whole back compartment will be open for chairs and high lift jack, all that kind of longer items that need to go up underneath there. And uh, and so that's the trailer before the box is put on it. So we'll lift the box on there and then bolt this down. Okay, so there it is with the box on it. Sorry I had to cut that video out. I needed uh, I needed more hands getting that on there, so my wife had to help me. So you can see the box on there, it's bolted down. And uh, so now this thing can lock right there. So that's a whole locking compartment up underneath the box. Right there. Then we have a locking compartment here. I'm gonna put a shelf in here. Haven't done that yet. And then you have a locking compartment here. It's got a shelf there. All this is all watertight. And then I gotta put a door on this piece right here. It'll close over. So you can have a little compartment right there. Like I said, I'm gonna put axes and shovels and that kind of stuff in that. And then uh, this is going to be my tent box. i got to put a door on here. So that's the last two things is just putting those doors on. And then right here I put all my propane and water and all that kind of stuff up here. So if the water leaks, it doesn't leak on sleeping bags and all that kind of stuff. So uh, there it is. So I'll finish these two things and then show you. And then I'll load it up and kind of show you how I, how I do that. Okay, guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm, I'm out here with my Labrador. I wanted to show you guys the final product of... Uh, the trailer being done. So we'll just start at the, uh, my, basically my rowing 72 hour kit or bug out trailer slash camping trailer that I made. So you guys have seen a video before of my black pine uh, tent, that huge tent. We built this box basically specifically for it. So I've got the tent in that box right there and it can just slide out. And then the doormat and then the mat that goes inside the tent or just in there with the tent as well. So everything that has to do with the tent, the ground cloth, tent, all that kind of stuff is in that cubby right there which is lockable on the front right there. Up top here we have the rack for my water jugs and for the propane bottles. So the propane bottles and water jugs go up there above that. That way if they leak, they don't leak onto a bunch of sleeping bags and that kind of stuff. Down here I welded this on and welded the hinges and everything on here so that this is a piece of expanded metal blocking in this little cubby. This little cubby is going to have like, this shovel, um, it'll have axes, saws, uh, just all that kind of stuff is going to go in this little cubby right here. And, uh, and it's lockable. All the locks are taken off, but I've got locks that go on everything. So this will go right there and lock that on like that the tin box this locks right there just like that sorry about that guys it's all weird. but yeah so everything locks the front compartment here um, we've got basically all of our kitchen type stuff in here um, so I've got coolers 
I've got uh, the water jug that actually go out front after we fill it up. Dutch ovens, camp chef with a big griddle in here. I've got a fire uh, griddle right there. Kelly kettle, lantern, fire extinguisher, couple tables, all that kitchen type stuff. My squirrel cooker. This is a squirrel cooker I made on on my forge. That was kind of fun. Just forged that up for myself. Uh, so that's in there. Uh, and so all that kind of stuff just rides in that front cubby. Sleeping bags and pads all go on this shelf up here. Um, so they're all ready to go right there. So that also just locks up. Just like that. So that's locked also. This one, back back here, yeah, we've got our potty, tarps, all of our kitchen dry goods. Uh, kitchen utensils, uh, all that kind of stuff, and then our 72-hour kits. I'm going to build a shelf, uh, which is why they're not in here right now, but uh, I'm going to build a shelf about right here, and our 72-hour kits we're just going to throw up there. So those will all be right in the top up there. Just our 72-hour kits will be sitting there ready to go. So basically this will just be a hook up to the car and, and leave, or whatever. It'll just be ready to go. So that's what the back compartment looks like right now. Like I said, i got to finish that shelf. There's still a couple things I gotta do, but it's pretty much done. This back one right here, that just pulls out of there. Also lockable, this hinge is open. In here, I've got all of our camping chairs, our canopy, a 10 by 10 uh, easy up canopy. I've got my fire tripod that I forged up right there, so you can see that. It's just back here, and um, I'm actually gonna make a box that uh, is about this wide and is the same height and width and everything and then the same length as this it has like a pull handle on it and uh, that I'm gonna carpet the inside of so I can just pull that entire box out and I'm gonna put my bows and guns and all that kind of stuff will go in there when I'm if I'm heading out I'll throw my air 15 in there my longbow all that kind of stuff that is longer length that needs to be protected I'll, I'll carpet inside that box and put that inside there so that's gonna go in the back right there uh, also, right there, so with that lock, you can't pull that pin out there, so that can't open. Back here, on the side, stuff that I haven't done yet, I've got the spare tire, I'm going to weld that onto this brace right here, so the spare tire is going to sit right here, and then the foot of the high lift jack will be angled, I've got a high lift jack, I'm going to weld onto here, so the foot of it will be right here, and the top of it will weld on up here and that way the high lift jack will be sitting right here and the spare tire will be right there so those are the final things I need to do I just need to do the high lift jack spare tire and that shelf on the on the inside of that other box and that is it that's my whole uh, bug out 72 hour kit slash camping trailer thing right there so let me know what you guys think thanks guys bye